familiarize ourselves with the interface of uh, ArcMap. I'm using ArcMap uh, 10.4. So it might be slightly different if you're using um, a slightly above or lower version. But generally, I think everything is, is almost the same. So um, the first thing first you're going to notice when you open your um, ArcMap is that uh, on top here, we have the menu bar. So the menu bar, that's where we'll be using mostly to to navigate also to to co-op on other functionalities that we might be might be required uh, so we have the the file this is where you use it to save data also we have the edit which mostly we use the when you're editing information in, within our, our working environment then we have the view data we have the bookmark we have the insert the selection geo processing and also we have the customization which gives us the ability to to customize how or what we see on our working environment okay so and also we have the layer panel the layer panel is mostly used to organize the data and, and how it appears on our on our working space and also we have the catalog the catalog mostly is used to to manage um, and connect our data sets and to, to various sources and um Access is actually is going to be viewed into components. There is a data view and also there is a layout view. So a layout view mostly is used to to make uh, the final product of the map. It's for map making the actual uh, map making. So we have the data view mostly where we use to where we we do most of the analysis and all the training, and then we have the the layout view. To activate a toolbar or a tool we simply right click on the within the space of a tool to bar menu and you are going to see the list of the tools that we are we have which are active within the work environment so for us to add a tool we simply click on it so if i click on this tool it's going to be added to the working environment and when it comes to toolbar menu the most tools you'll be using mostly is from the act box the actual box contains all the tools and the functions that we will be required for us to perform our various functions and as an alternative for you to, to search for these tools you can also use the the search the search the search helps you to navigate through the tools rather than trying to find them like it can be quite a tedious task for you to find the tools so search really comes in handy